Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Rakakatash, Tabalonas unto the leaders, apostles of great most on Shalom, to you sincere Akim. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're the 12 tribes of the nation of Asharala. Okay. The true Hebrew Israelites all right, that the Bible speaks of. Stop following Christianity, you no know, Islam. No, any other thing that that is outside saving Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, the God of the Bible. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, according to the ancient, ancient the only true uh, names in the Hebrew, the Lashawan Kutash, the Holy Tongue. All right. Please, are we allowed to eat? shrimp or lobster so the question is are we allowed to eat shrimp or lobster now um, people may often hear different views about this and yes there are two the scholars are divided into two main opinions about this issue so the first view uh, is the view of the majority of scholars and they say yes there's no problem in eating uh, whether it be prawns or shrimp or lobster or any type of seafood and the reason they mention this is because of an ayah in the Quran and also a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I'll just explain this because it's important for us to know where you know these rulings come from firstly and secondly why is there a difference of opinion? Why do some people for example take one reason or one opinion and other people take another? Why do different scholars say different things? So the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a hadith narrated by Abu Hurairah. the hadith is collected by uh, Ibn Khuzayma and Imam Ahmed and others. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said huwa tahur ma'uhu al that the sea and the, 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 the oceans, the water is pure and any of the uh, fishes or whatever may be in the sea, they are also pure as well. Okay, they're also pure as well, whether they be dead or whether they be alive. Okay, so this is uh, one hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The, uh, the ayah comes in Surah Ma'idah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, oh, Hey, wait a minute. If everything in that is in the water is clean according to uh, the Quran and the Hadiths, all right. So that means the water you can also take it and drink it. Let's see what's gonna happen to you when you drink the uh, uh, the water that comes from from the from the ocean. You're gonna get yourself the you're gonna end up dehydrating. All right. That anything from the from the sea has been made lawful for you to be able to eat and to be able to use. Now the second opinion is the opinion of the mad. And, and you so-called Muslims and you, and you Israelites who go into this whole thing of uh, the nation of Islam, you gonna say uh, the Quran is not against the Bible. The the Quran, uh, you you your followers of the scriptures. And no, in the Bible does it say you can eat anything. But somehow, you know, you know, you you don't touch uh, touch swine. But everything you eat, anything else, you're gonna eat it. What kind of sense does that make? Them tongue twisting names. To the simple, that's gonna sound deep, <clears throat> but it's all folly, man. Uh, the wisdom that we speak is of Yahweh Pashmiyasha, not with enticing words and tongue twisting names and shit. Abu Hanifa in which he would say that things such as uh, shrimp or, or maybe lobster or anything which is not essentially to be known as fish, uh, these would not be permissible. And the reason for this is because they would say that any dead um, animal or any anything dead, legit... These guys, man, they're all bugged out. These guys are on the same boat as these... Uh guys of who are following Christianity plant, uh, plant, Christianity plant, uh, plantation uh, you eat whatever you eat just pray over it these guys are on the same boat uh, so are you gonna compare the clean food out of the sea come on man what kind of sense is this uh, let's also show you the madness with these philosophies that are out here uh, that's what the scripture says, lean not according to your understanding. All right. The words of, of Yahweh Pashmasha are pure. All right. 
is that we're not allowed to eat it. If we find something dead, if we find, for example, a cow or a sheep um, or, or a chicken dead without it having been slaughtered, without us knowing what has happened to it, then the general rule is we can't eat it. Similarly, the same for anything in the sea. Uh, so this is one reason that they say. So that means you can catch a, a clean uh, fish, okay, that, which is lawful, that has fins and scale. Because now it's, it's dead, you can't eat it. What kind of sense does it make? You, you don't eat an, an, uh, an, any, any, any animal that is lawful to eat. You don't eat it when it's alive. You, you, you're supposed to kill it. What kind of sense does that nonsense make? The second part... You're supposed to eat it when it's alive? What kind of nonsense is this? Why they do allow fish, though, is because of another hadith collected by uh, Imam Ahmed in which the Prophet Sallallahu said that أُحِلَّتَنَا مَيْتَةً وَمَيْتَةً That we have been allowed to have two types of dead um, animals or, or dead produce that we can eat. The first type is Al-Hut. Is al -hut. And the, the opinion of these scholars is that Al-Hut refers specifically to fish. So the hadith refers specifically to fish, which is why they would say anything which is not specifically fish, such as maybe lobster or maybe shrimp, would not be allowed to eat. And this again, as we mentioned, is that there's a difference of opinion between the scholars on how we understand. Hey, there is no any laws in the Quran. The Quran or the hadiths have no laws. The laws touching commandments, you want to find them in the holy book, the Bible. Okay? In the Bible. That's where you're going to find the laws. These guys are following no laws. Okay. They eat camels. They eat crabs. They eat lobsters. But they did not uh, touch any swine. What kind of madness is that? These handsome youths. Uh, 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 receive us in heaven. Uh, Follow us. Ayat and various ahadith. It's not that they, they just, uh, you know, they, they plucked it out of nowhere. No. There's specific reasoning for it. So one shouldn't. This whole uh, Quran thing has been plucked out of nowhere. Okay. It came, it's, it's, it's madness. All right. It is madness. You must be a crazy person to follow the Quran and believe in that nonsense. You, if you ever read the Quran, when I read the whole thing, you're going to realize this thing make, makes no sense. Even scientifically, the Quran makes no sense, man. All right? It's going to, you're going to tell you the sun set in, in a muddy place. Okay? Basically, it's telling you the F is flat in other ways. All right? In Abu Bakr or something, somewhere in there. Always say look down upon uh, somebody if they follow a different opinion. Rather, the scholars have their reasoning and they have their evidence for it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And we have. So if, if, if your Allah knows best, why didn't he write the best that he knows in the Quran specifically what to eat and what not to eat and not leave it to the scholars and not leave it to men? Let's get the scriptures. There's a Leviticus. 11 because uh, these guys are they are on the uh, on the exact same boat as these christians uh, pray over it leave it to the scholars okay this is uh, leviticus eleven verse nine all right leviticus eleven verse nine says these it says these Uh, let me start here. It says, Levit Leviticus 11 verse 8 is, Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch. They are unclean unto you. It says, These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Uh -huh. A fish that has scales and things, that's what's lawful to eat. Uh -huh. Not not these are the madness. Uh, not crabs, not lobsters. Okay, not starfishes. Okay. 
tiger fishes. None of that. A fish that has fins and scales. That's slothful, plain, plain and simple. Okay, don't tell us Allah knows best. Okay, the Most High knows Yahweh Pashim Yahweh knows all. Therefore, He made sure these laws were passed down, were written down, because He knows best. Therefore, shall the chosen nation know best and not leave it to the scholars. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 9 says, These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins, fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, in the rivers, them shall ye eat. It says, verse 10 says, And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the rivers, that they shall be in an abomination unto you. These are unclean, okay? The non-halal, okay? The unclean. It says, they shall be even in an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses. It says, but ye shall have their carcasses in abomination. All right? Don't eat them, it says whatsoever have no no fins, no scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. Okay, very simple and plain. Alright. And these laws are still in full effect. Okay. Let's get Job 14. So the book of Job 14 and uh Okay, this is the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 4. It says, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Uh, your Allah, okay, he, he can change the laws of Yahweh, Pashim, Yahweh, Shai. These are the new gods, uh, newly, uh, newly sprung up. Uh, the same thing with Sergio Bozier, uh, CJ, okay, sweet love about Christianity. Okay, Jesus Christ, that these Christians are so-called Christians is false. Uh, professed Christians want to be, okay, they're going to tell you, you just you need to pray over it. It doesn't work like that. Who can bring an, a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Uh, the ways of the Lord are, are pure, okay? He made a standard, okay, he set up a standard what is clean and, and what is unclean, what is lawful to eat and what is unlawful. Just like with Noah, okay, he took them what? Seven by, by each pair, them that are clean, okay, and two by, by their own kind, which are, are unclean. Okay, so the book of Matthew 15, uh, 15 I believe. All right. Uh, it's, it's, uh, Matthew chapter f chapter 15 because these laws of the most high they endure forever all right you're gonna be defiled by eating these undefiled uh, uh undefiled food okay they're still uh defiled uh they're still un un they still are uh, unclean for consumption. It doesn't change. So this scripture here in Matthew 15 that most of you Christians love uh, to use, okay. It, it, it is. It's not talking that. It's not speaking about what uh, what defile you. It's what uh, it is. It's, it's what comes out of your mouth. It's like uh, this. Let me just read this. Matthew 15 verse 11 says. It says, not that which goeth into the mouth uh, defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Uh, meaning what? It's not talking about these laws, statute commandments of what, what, what is the standard of what is clean and unclean has been taken away. No, it's speaking about what? It was making reference to these guys who were busy talking nonsense. Okay, criticizing, okay, this, the disciples of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, 
with because of what they, they did not wash their hands okay the intent the malice of men okay scripture says out of the abundance of the of the mouth okay the heart speak something to that, to that effect okay so these laws of the most high are still in full effect this is a book of romans 7 okay 7 Romans 7 and 1 says, No, we not reverend, for I speak to them that know the law. If you actually do know the law, it says, How that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth? For as long as humanity, human beings still are alive, these laws, that is commandments which have been set up by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Pashmi Hashah, they will always abide forever. Okay, for as long as we are alive, all these laws, that is commandments. Okay, they're not going away. This is a book of uh, Psalms 19, verse 7. It says, uh, The law of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, is sure, making wise the simple. You be, okay, you will be wise, okay, to learn and to come to, to, the, to the ultimate uh, re realization that the laws are not done away with. They're still binding unto this very day. Okay, we can't make void the law of the Mosah by what what do we do? We establish the law of Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is the book of Revelation 22. The Quran has no laws, okay. This is Revelation 22 verse 14 says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter through the gate into the city. All right, this is a blessed are they that do his commandments. All right, the commandments are still in full effect. Okay, but it's the main thing that is required alongside of you keeping these commandments, you keep them alongside with faith. All right. Okay, the righteousness which is of faith, but not the righteousness which is of the law. All right, so basically, all you Muslims, you you're on the same group, okay, as these Christians. All right, you you're on the exact same group. All right, you, you don't know what's going on. Uh, you don't have you have no clue of what the hell is going on, okay. This is uh, Romans 3 and, 10, and verse, verse 20 says, Therefore by the deeds of the law they shall no flesh be justified in his sight. It says, For by the law is the, is the knowledge of sin. Alright. Let me go up. No. Okay, it's so Romans 3. Alright. Uh, let me jump down here with this. It says, uh, it says uh, even the righteousness, like I was speaking about, the righteousness of which is of faith, or as the Romans 3, verse 32, all right? It says, uh, even the righteousness of the Mosa, which is by faith of Yahweh Shahamashak, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference, it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Mosa. That's why it says in Judges 5 and 11, we shall rehearse these righteous acts, okay? Offend less. Uh, it, says, it says, being justified freely by the grace through the redemption, uh, through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahweh All right, let me jump down. It says, uh, therefore, we conclude that that, that Romans 3 and verse 28 says, Therefore we conclude that, that, that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he? Salakia, so let me jump down. Salakia. So to the point, okay. There's a Romans 3 and 31 says, Do we then make void the law through faith? It says, Yahweh forbid, yea, we establish the law. Okay, the laws are still what being established. Okay. To the best of our ability, make no excuses. 
all right make no excuses it's just a lousy excuse you know Allah knows best oh man Yahweh Pashmah knows best and he has made it plain okay this is lawful this is unlawful okay simple all praises unto Yahweh Pashim Yahusha Pashim Rakakathash the Bernasan Sudhiyos Apostles Shalom Sisin Siakim Shalom to the whole food elect